Okay. I ordered some inks. Hello. I'm running out of ink. Brown ink, that is. Uh, these are some urban inks, acrylic inks. So that will be for another day. Brush pens. I could have made like an unboxing video, but that's, I don't think it's me to do that. All right, let's test this one. So straight out of the pen, this brown ink looks very red. And uh, I was very surprised because uh, I didn't expect it to be so red when it, you know, you know, it says it should, should be more like coffee. But it's um, only when it's wet, it, it dries and becomes a very different uh, brown uh, coffee kind of color. People ask me this question quite often. Uh, and that is, uh, do you have a plan? Uh, and that sometimes looks like I have some kind of a plan. And here I don't have any plan. I just make some lines and some shapes appear. And then some of them here, you can see some of them are behind some of the others. And then I felt, okay, it looked a bit like a bunch of twigs and maybe this could be a tree or some trees or some, you know, something that can look a little bit like some kind of a tree house or something. So it's very jazzy and this pen is not very good. It's a very cheap uh, fountain pen but i don't really mind it because sometimes when it doesn't behave properly i just try to treat it like a jazzy thing like if you stumble you just make it part of the dance uh, so sometimes there's some lines that uh, becomes ugly but that doesn't really matter and here i break some like the lines that i made that it's going uh, downwards. I tried to, I just crossed over diagonally, sort of destroying what I already made. I do this very often just, uh, to not make things too pretty. It's kind of, you know, ruining some, something of the, like, plus to create some kind of confusion like confusion and ugliness can be very interesting when you try to make things like beautiful it becomes very boring very often so i just yeah and here i'm here i'm uh, creating some depth by adding some hatching or some thinner lines in the background i turn this pen it's like a bent nib. So I turn it and use the other end. Here I feel like I'm just connecting the dots in a way. And whatever I'm doing here, I don't know. Connect some dots. Add some dynamics and here I add some... Um, drops of ink but twisting the piston and dragging the ink around and this i do sometimes when the uh, fountain pen is not flowing very well i i just make these drops i like the, how it looks and how the darkness in these drops becomes like very uh, like a large contrast to uh, other lines and it ch the lines changes uh, the intensity. 
And as you can see, I also added some other shapes like that looks like stairs. I also find that's very interesting. I kind of create some dynamic um, and uh, yeah, dynamics or um, perspective. And these chess squares is also something I've been doing lately. I also find it very interesting because it creates some sort of order, but it's also confusing at the same time when you don't try to make like any, um, you don't try to make sense, but it, it helps changing directions and stuff. So it's, it can be confusing, but there's some order to it as well. Hints of shape. So these could look like some kind of table legs or legs on a chair. And I just added these thin lines to kind of follow uh, and make a hint of a shape. And here I go in with water brush. It is very important not to overdo water brush uh, on ink. <clears throat> I, I did okay in this one. There's a few places uh, I might mention later where I, it didn't work so well. Uh, but yeah, I'm learning, you know, how this ink works. And um, some places I should have waited, use a little bit of water brush, just a very little, and then wait and see how it looks when it dries, because sometimes it dries and it's not the... Um, um, desired result, or maybe I overdid some parts. So yeah, it's, I think it's a good idea to be very subtle with the water brush. And it's also important to know that when you use water brush, you are kind of um, making the pigments weaker. Just to you know that it might, mm, it's good for sketching. It might be bad for the longevity of a drawing. Like if you, if I frame this, maybe, I really don't know, but it might be um, having some bad, effect on the um, longevity and here I add some shapes or I add some shadows to create more of a um, perspective and um, try to make it very sketchy sometimes. You might hear the sound of uh, my cat eating. So now I have to stop because yeah, I could uh, overdo this very quickly. And uh, I'm trying some uh, yellow watercolor, Winsor and Newton. And uh, just to see how, um, the ink and the watercolors um, work together.
So I find that I spend way too much time on this this uh, specific area of the painting, like this kind of hair looking part. Um, yeah, I, I spent way too much time. Uh, I overdid it and uh, uh, and when it dried up, I could see that I shouldn't have done that. But now I know, now I know how the ink behaves. So yeah, but very often it's actually a good idea not to stay on one area too much because it becomes some kind of hyper fixation going on and it can be ruining um, ruining stuff. And here I am um, adding another layer. It has been drying. The ink is dried up and I add some more, like another wash just to see if I can create some darker shadows. Yeah, and you can see I overdid this so much. <laughs> and you see how red the ink looks, and it confused me. So, yeah, and it becomes so much darker. The, the, the color becomes so much darker later. So, uh, yeah. Should have stopped... Uh, tinkering with this one <laughs> spent way too much time on her hair it did not become very good but it's an interesting sketch and here i add some coffee <laughs> i thought why not to see how coffee looks next to this ink that want to be coffee kind of want to have the or like want to be coffee look so okay let's see how it looks together with real coffee then I like how it looked with the coffee. An interesting sketch. I like this ink. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you liked this video, please remember to press the you know what. It helps me a lot. And if you have any comments or requests or anything you want to write down below, please do so because that helped me as well. And I hope to see you again tomorrow in another video. Bye.